What's up guys, welcome back to a new video. So as you can see from the title and thumbnail, today we're gonna to be doing day in the life of a tire shop owner. So I'm gonna take y'all behind the scenes of everything that I do pretty much in a day. And yeah, I'm pretty excited to show y'all everything. Right now we're gonna start with making coffee and then I'm gonna head off to work because I get in at nine and it's currently 8.30. So let's get this show on the road, baby. All right, so my cup of coffee is ready. I just need to get my backpack, my prep meals, and then I'm out of here. Let's go. All right, guys, so we just showed up to work. It is currently 847. I don't know if y'all saw, it was really foggy because of the damn humidity here in Texas. I did bring it in a cake. The reason I brought in a cake, I don't do this every day, but I have a cousin that works with me. I brought her a cake because it's her birthday. So yeah, let's go get everything ready and then we're gonna surprise her because she doesn't even know what's coming. Let's go. All right, so we have the cake right here. I didn't record it, but I put a little candle. She blew it out already. It was very spontaneous. It was very in the moment. We got that done. Right now I'm excited because I've been talking about commercials. So I made these commercials a while back and I've been very excited about getting them. It's been like a month and I'm kind of mad that I got them a little late. I just received them right now and I'm about to go over them and I'm gonna tell y'all what I think y'all get my live reaction right now okay first video right here let's go but even though I'm excited I need to text this guy and let him know like hey bro like I'm really depending on these videos because I was supposed to have a long commercial and eight reels and right now I only have four reels and no commercial so I'm still waiting We'll see, we'll see what happens. All right, so the guy has finally been texted. He hasn't responded yet. All right, so now we're on to the next thing, which is gonna be going over the reviews, which is one of my favorite things to do because I like seeing like positive comments of our business and stuff and just making sure everything's running smoothly on the back end. Okay, so not only am I one of the owners of the tire shop, also I have my little drink fridge where people buy drinks for me and everything. And one thing that I recognize is one of my flaws and I always keep a lot of stuff there. I always forget to take my Tupperware because I meal prep a lot. You want it to look presentable. You want the drink to smell fresh I, I know that's a weird statement right but sometimes like whenever you grab a drink from somewhere you can tell this the fridge just smells nasty I don't know I've been in that scenario many times like I've been to like a friend's house or even my grandma's house I'm sorry grandma for putting you on the spot but like I'll get a drink from her house and it smells like onions everything that she has in there she just is bombarded with all this like food in there and the drink smells funny and I don't want that with my customers so gotta clean all this out part of being a business owner baby so we're gonna drop these off at home we're gonna go to the bank and then we're gonna go back to work alright so we're finally back here in the office about to start working hard and do a lot of stuff. Believe it or not, I actually have a surprise coming my way. I actually have Jeanette come in and bring me some food. So we're gonna eat lunch here together and I'm excited about that. Find you a woman who cooks for you and then comes over here. She lives like, what, 15 minutes away and she's literally gonna bring me food. I'm excited to say the least. She cooks really good. Yeah, I kind of ruined the surprise for y'all, but y'all might be seeing a little bit of smoke coming in and out of the screen. The reason why is because I still have the diffuser going, baby. No more business, but that diffuser still goes strong though. Look who came and visited us. And she brought me lunch. It was so freaking good. Mom Sally gonna go to the other shop and then she's gonna go. But yeah, the food was really good. It was, I told her it was by far the best ground beef that she's ever made. This is actually not part of the routine, but it's cool that she came and visited because it's just different and I like it. Me gusta mucho. By the way, speaking of liking stuff, y'all better like this video. I'm watching y'all because I'm, I'm getting tired of this. Y'all need to like these videos and subscribe. A lot of y'all don't even subscribe. Exactly. <laughs> tell them, tell them, tell them. Okay, so I've told y'all this before, but right now I'm kind of looking into real estate investments and what I'm doing is I actually have this number that my cousin gave me because she's kind of like my real estate agent now. I'm gonna send a text message to this lady. She's gonna basically get pre approved i'm pretty much gonna just start the process of looking at properties again this doesn't mean that i'm gonna like buy something today of course i need to save a little bit more money to be able to invest this is a start and i'm just looking and there was like a great opportunity the other day so i'm just kind of learning a little bit more about this whole investment process so this is cool too because since this is my family business at the same time i'm able to kind of like dabble with other industries so for example since i am in the tire industry i do get to break down kind of like the tire stuff but then i also get to break down another industry that i want to tap into which is real estate Stay back, let's go. Hello, pretty good yourself? I'm good. All right, so that phone call is done right now. I need to order more of these shirts because we gave them to our employees and some of them need a different size. So I'm gonna go ahead and order a different size and I'm gonna call the people that we get to make them right now. So let's get her done. So I just got out of work and I know you might be a little confused as to what the hell do I like do at our family business, right? So as of now, I'm trying to get our social media presence up. I kind of do PR in a way if you think about it because I pretty much like respond to comments and I just make sure that anybody's messages are like kind of clarified, also reviewed and thank the people that are like leaving good reviews. And it's very rare that we do get some bad messages every once in a while because that's gonna happen in any business. Even like on these YouTube videos, I get hate comments every once in a while. It just happens, you know what I mean? You really can't get mad at it. As a business owner, you kind of have to understand 
the customer's point of view and you have to kind of talk to them and just learn a little bit and that's pretty much what I'm doing right now. I'm just trying to make sure that we have that presence out there because we used to do commercials and the commercials weren't really giving us traction. The strategy that I wanted to do and I told my dad, hey, if I come over, I'm gonna start doing social media and we're gonna do that. As of now, I'm gonna be honest with you, if you're like an aspiring business owner, or tire shop owner, anything, it is crazy how powerful social media is for like a business. I've posted a few videos, I've posted a few like flyers, I've posted a few pictures and like people are starting to like notice a lot of people in my family and my friend group they're just like hey like your social media is doing good other business owners are telling my dad they're telling me hey y'all social media is like doing really good also i pretty much just manage just kind of tedious little things for example the shirts i had to order if you watched my other video i like made promotional items things that like i can think of and that's pretty much my role as of now yeah you don't need these things per se but in the same time it just makes the the business look good and it also just kind of like makes everything kind of trickle in again if you're an aspiring business owner or anything like that just keep in mind that you have to wear many hats see because there's a lot of other business owners that are different and they would be very excited maybe to do the labor part right but the thing with me is that like, if i'm being honest i have my bachelor's degree not to mention that i also love marketing as y'all can tell i'm making a youtube video right now that's marketing and yeah i just like that aspect i like the operation i like making things happen uh being creative and just like kind of making it work it's so cool because whenever i'm like over here making shirts for the employees and like making logos and doing this and doing that it just feels like i have a clothing brand and i'm like wow i can use my own logo and like make clothing pretty much you know what i mean it's like pretty cool and pretty inspiring regardless i'm gonna leave it at that that's gonna be like basically a day in the life of a tire business owner i definitely just recorded like 60 percent of my day there's a lot of other tedious things that i did and it's just like sometimes it's a hassle because of meetings or other things that come up and you know that happens every once in a while other than that i'm gonna go ahead and leave it there guys i really appreciate you for watching you already know the drill baby go ahead like subscribe comment we'll see you on the next video guys peace